Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Cleveland, holla if you hear me, man. What is up? I am freaking pumped right now to bring you all another cash flow opportunity, man. This bad boy right here. 10 to 12 Bernard Avenue, Cleveland, in the 44111 zip code, right? Price this bad boy at 129.9, okay? And this, folks, is the cash flow machine, right? And what we do here at Holton Wise is we present you guys the most open, honest, and transparent way to invest in Cleveland real estate, right? I want you to see the property. I want you to see the good. I want you to see the bad. I want you to see the ugly. I want you to see the surrounding neighborhood, right? That's why we give you guys the drone footage. We want you guys to check out what your investments will actually look like when the tenants are living there, right? And Sometimes it's not the freshest, cleanest thing in the world, right? It don't look like all the fancy uh, professional photography that you see on some of the MLS listings out there. But guess what? That ain't the real world. That ain't what you're buying. This is. This is what it looks like to be a C-class landlord, right? This is a C-class investment property. If you don't know what I mean when I say C-class investment property, you can check the notes below this video. You can go to the Tools and Resources tab, or you could Google it. What you're looking for is the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, okay? I've graded all the neighborhoods in the Cleveland market on an A to F scale. Based upon risk, based upon price to rent ratios, uh, ARV, things of that nature, okay? And I would consider this to be a C-grade neighborhood. Every single one of those asset classes, those asset grades is going to, uh, you know, have varying uh, real estate investment strategies that work for it based upon your wants, your needs, your goals, and what you're trying to do. For instance, I think if you're trying to flip houses, you want to be in A-grade neighborhoods, right? The ARVs are super high. A lot of owner-occupants drive pricing in those areas, so you have a lot more wiggle room for profits. If you want to be a long-term buy-and-hold investor, I think you do the best in C and D-grade neighborhoods, areas like this. you got lower-income tenants, but it's not incredibly dangerous and blighted like the F-class neighborhoods, and you have a nice mix of cash and Section 8-paying tenants, right? Likewise, I think uh, A, B neighborhoods are great for short-term rentals, Airbnb investments, things of that nature, right? But I have breadered, ah, breadered, breadered, buttered. I buttered it, baby. I buttered my bread, man. I ain't breadered nothing. But I buttered my bread. I've made a large portion of my wealth uh, with stuff like this right here, this particular neighborhood. Cash flow duplexes in the C-grade area, right? Just freaking cash cows. They're not the sexiest of investments, but they kick off money. And this one is no different. Now, I'm going to pull that chart back up for you to take a look here, right? Uh, you see the, the rent, seven fifteen six fifty. dollars okay? That's thirteen sixty five. It will still cash flow today. But the good news for you uh, is, well, it's a good news, bad news sandwich, I guess. It's a double-edged sword, right? You have all the inflation, right, that's crushing us right now, right? Gas, labor, uh, renovation costs, properties to buy, but with all that food, with all those things going up, you know what else went up a lot? Rent, baby, rent went up. Right now, if we were going to put tenants in these units, we'd probably be placing them at 850. So that means you got below market tenants right now. So there is a lot of meat on the bone. There is room for us to hit these tenants up uh, with some rental increases at the next time uh, their, their leases expire, okay? Here at Old Wise, we pop people in there at 12 months at a time. Uh, we usually slowly increase their rent, so we definitely got some wiggle room, but I'd like to, to see us increase the rent at the next tenant turnover, right? So it's a good news, bad news sandwich. Everything in the world's getting more expensive, but guess what? Rent's one of those things, and that is going to be good for folks like you. Another thing to note about the Cleveland market, and this is new, uh, the lead-based paint laws, right? If a lot of you are out there new to the Cleveland market and you're checking out Zillow, Realtor.com, stuff like that, talking to other real estate agents in the Cleveland market, you may have noticed 
ain't nobody talking to you about the lead certification laws. Well, guess what? Every single landlord in Cleveland has to adhere to these new laws, and this property is going to be sold to you uh, completely lead certified. That's very important. If you saw a duplex in Cleveland just like this and it wasn't lead certified and it had old original wood windows, it had old wood siding, you might be looking at a $40,000 bill to get it lead certified. So the fact that this one comes to you lead certified is a big deal. I challenge you guys, when you're talking to realtors, when you're browsing the internet for properties, you're checking out Zillow, Realtor.com, all that jazz, Talk to the people selling these Cleveland rental properties about the lead certification. Unfortunately, what you're going to find is most of these agents, most of the home sellers are just selling it to you without telling you about it, and they don't even know about it, and then you're getting hit with big bills after the fact. That's why people come here. They come to Holton Wise TV to get the true experience of what it's going to be like. And if you think, oh, lead cert, no big deal, eh. I challenge you to watch the video I've linked below so you can see what the process is of getting your property lead certified. It is actually kind of cumbersome, and I broke it down in a complete tutorialized video so you guys could find that info out. But again, we already took care of it here. This one's coming to you completely lead certified, ready to rock and roll. Tenants already in there. Room for rental increases, baby. Meat on the bone. It's got everything you need. Solid C-grade neighborhood. All you need to do now is is simply send an email to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. If you want to pay cash, that's fine. No problem with that. Include your proof of funds, but you don't have to pay cash. You can totally finance this thing. Uh, if you have lenders, great. If you need lenders, we'll get you some. You put down 25%, Bay kinks in 75%. So if you want to make an offer that's financed, send me the pre-approval letter from your lender and the amount you want to offer. If you need lenders, just shoot us an email like, hey, man, we need some lenders. Hook us up. Last but not least, before I let you get out of here, you should know that this property is going to have multiple offers, so you got to move quick. Uh, if I'm moving too fast, but you like what I'm doing, you like what Holton Wise has to offer, you want full service, property management, maintenance, construction, insurance, the whole nine, but you want to talk to us, you want to figure out uh, more how we work, you want to work with me closer, perhaps in a one-on-one -on -one type basis where I talk to you about your wants, your needs, your goals, hey. We do that, too. You can check out the other show we got here on Holton Weiss TV called the MLS Search Analysis Show or click the notes below this show to book a free call on my team. That's all I got, folks. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Weiss TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.